fascination with analyzing golf swings has taken place for over a hundred years. At first, it was still photography and photographs of Bobby Jones in the 1930s. Then as time went on, people had access to VCRs and camcorders. Who could forget John Madden on a Sunday afternoon at football games drawing on the screen and giving us a look at his analysis of play calling that was really never seen before. It made all golf pros curious. My first teacher and mentor, Ben Doyle, was an innovator when it came to using video analysis. Today, we have access to iPhones, iPads, and everyone out there has a chance to look at their swing. So let's go over key elements of video swing analysis and what you need to know to make yourself better and not make any mistakes when you're analyzing your swing. An indoor lab is the best place to analyze your swing. With known reference points, you'll be able to get much more detail about your golf swing. You'd want to perch the camera up high, set it so that the camera view is pointing 90 degrees down to the bottom of your swing arc, the execution phase, something we talked about in our swing tips book. Most of us, however, will have our iPhone out on the driving range. When you have your iPhone out on the driving range, the face-on view is going to be one of the most popular looks at your swing. When using the face-on view, make sure you're 90 degrees to the swing direction, that you're truly facing the golfer. Make sure that you have space in the camera view for the whole entire arc of the swing. You don't want to cut off any parts of the swing. Set your camera to slow motion or use one of the many golf swing apps available. Here at X Golf School, we use two apps. We use V1 Pro and Swing Catalyst on both our iPhone and iPad. The down the line view is going to be the second most popular one used by most people. When going down the line, give yourself a reference point. Use the target line so that you're able to then reference something when you're looking to see relationships in your swing. Don't get caught up in shaft angles and plane lines and things like that. Look for, on the backswing, the left arm relationship to the chest. And look for the club's exit through the body and the direction of the swing after impact and beyond into the finish. All of these items and details that are important in the swing are all covered in Swing Tips You Should Forget, book that we released this December.